I went shopping uh, a couple weeks ago and found some um, ears of corn at a really great price. So I bought them and cooked part of them. And then I forgot about the rest until I was uh, looking in the refrigerator earlier today. So I wanted to cook them up and uh, scrape them off and use the corn kernels for salads and stuff like that. So I was looking for the easiest uh, way to do this that would not heat up the kitchen. So of course I turned to the crock pot. So what I did is I had these two um, ears of corn. I've cleaned them. I took off the silks. I uh, took off the husk. I'm going to throw those in the... Um, compost pile and I'm going to put them in the crock pot. Uh, some of the recipes I looked at looked at online um, suggested adding butter or herbs and stuff to the cooking water but since I'm going to be using these um, for different purposes and salads and stuff I decided not to add anything. I'm just going to uh, cook the um, cook them as is and then uh, season them afterwards with whatever I'm cooking them with. So I'm going to put the corn cobs into the crock pot. This is a pretty small crock pot. And I'm going to add a half a cup of water. And I'm going to turn it on high. And according to most of the directions I've read online, in about two to three hours on high, these should be ready to go crispy and good and uh, cook through. So I'll be back and let you know what happened. Okay, it's been about uh, three three hours or so, and uh, they said two to three hours, and I think the amount is going to depend on your crock pot. However, these look good; they're all puffed up. They smell like corn. They seem um, they seem just fine. What I'm going to do is let them cool a little bit, then pull the kernels off and give them a try. All right, this is what two corn cobs of um, corn look like, and it's quite a bit. I just chopped them right off the um, the cob and I'll give them a little try and let you know how they came out. The corn in the crock pot came out great. I just tried some. I thought I'd need to add salt and pepper and all sorts of stuff to it, but it was delicious just as it was. And uh, one of the benefits of cooking it in the um, crock pot is that I gained three hours to myself. And again, the two and a half to three hours that it cooked is uh, going to depend on your crock pot. With me, it was about three hours. But during that time, I was able to um, work in the garden and plant some beans and water everything. I made muffins. The neighbors came by. I talked to them. I read some cookbooks. All this while the, the corn was cooking all by itself. So enjoy this year's harvest. The summer harvest of corn is wonderful. It can be uh, purchased very cheaply this time of year. And don't forget to use your crock pot to uh, make some delicious food and free up some time for yourself. Thank you so much for watching.